don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market. And before Welcome back to another video on the finance value guy. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why this is it for Dogecoin, guys. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. We're going to be talking about why this is it for Dogecoin, guys. Seriously, this is it for Doge. Okay, this is the pivotal moment. And if you guys have been waiting for a moment for Doge, this is it, guys. This is the moment where Doge is going to pull a very, very big move. And I don't think people are ready for this, guys. I really don't think people are. So here's what I'm talking about, okay? This is pretty crazy. Okay, so as you guys can see on the long time frame of Dogecoin, as you guys can see since, okay, since literally May the 11th, okay, May that, you know, since Saturday Night Live, if you guys remember Dogecoin Saturday Night Live, this was the big media event and this marked the top, okay, of the Dogecoin um, run up so far. And as you guys can see, okay, this was at the height of when there was media attention. Now, as you guys can see right now, okay, when we've drawn the trend line, okay, all the way down from the top, okay, you guys can see that all the way here, okay is the first time in a very long time that we're testing that resistance resistance line as you can see okay even if we um remove this stuff you guys can see that right now dogecoin okay needs to be able to close above this because you guys can see right here usually what happens okay is if we have a downward trending line and we're coming down near, near the pink butt level of support can actually manage to get above it guys you guys don't understand that the upside is so big okay the upside is truly really really high guys look at this um you know Fibonacci level that I've drawn you guys can see that it perfectly lines up um with the previous level and this is definitely going to be one of the price targets for Dogecoin guys you guys can see that currently I can see that currently okay what we have here is we have a situation where Dogecoin realistically okay could rally all the way okay to um the 69 percent level which is 160 percent okay now that isn't just based in random i'm not just you know stating that this is charts this is data guys this is this is fibonacci levels 101 um and when you have this kind of stuff okay this is basically what the fib based extension shows us okay like once you break certain levels this is going to be the targets guys and what's funny is that when you look at this key level guys so i say fibonacci levels are perfect guys look at this okay when we draw this level look at where it lines up to okay it lines up perfectly with the top of you know the dogecoin okay with that dogecoin guys this is what i'm saying okay fibonacci levels show us exactly where we're gonna go and where's the projection okay which is pretty funny okay the 3.681 projection okay is at 88 cents and then you know the 4.23 extension is at a dollar guys which is pretty crazy okay it seems insane but like this is what i'm saying okay dogecoin to one dollar okay or 88 cents isn't crazy okay this stuff is pretty crazy and this is why this is it for dogecoin guys because every single time we've had a rejection here rejection here rejection okay S severe rejection a rejection here guys we're coming over to this right line right here okay this blue line actually right here and guys you guys can see essentially what we need to do now guys if we are dogecoin holder okay what we need for dogecoin to do so far it's actually not going too bad um we need we really do need for dogecoin okay to to perform something like this okay we need dogecoin to start doing something like this okay once dogecoin starts to do this guys the sky is the limit guys seriously the sky is the limit because that would mean that dogecoin is broken out of its accumulation phase okay and that would mean that dogecoin is finally okay headed to the upside honestly that's what it would mean that dogecoin is finally headed to the upside um and it would really really be good because that would mean that the uptrend for doge is starting um and there's going to be a lot of profits made in that stage guys like i know that i'm going to be buying heavily in that stage because um you know dogecoin is literally at that point and if we look on the shorter time frames guys even on the hourly you guys can see okay that dogecoin the lines have played out perfectly okay so far what was crazy um this rising wedge actually broke up which was nice came hit the exact support line that I drew ages ago it came back down now I'm gonna lie, this isn't the best for Dogecoin because we should, you know, we really shouldn't be um, coming back down to this line right here. Usually what we want is we want to stay above this line. So usually what we want for Dogecoin is for Dogecoin to kind of stay like at least on this line, because if we can stay on this line, guys, it means that we can use that support and then rally above it, guys. So I would say that for now, okay, this is truly it for Dogecoin because I think that we're going to have a major move within the next couple of hours, guys. So, um, either what's going to happen, okay, is either scenario one, either Dogecoin is going to do this, okay, and then print a large candle, huge candle, just like a 20% candle um, that nobody even expects, probably a huge candle like this, okay? Um, and then something like this, and then probably breaking past that even further, and probably coming back down, and then just breaking up again even further through that. Or Dogecoin is going to realistically stay on the support line and then break down. Now that breakdown, okay, that will probably be, in my honest opinion, the last time to buy Dogecoin before it truly skyrockets, because this is the last level of support. This area right here, this is the last level of support before we truly break to the upside, because this accumulation phase, it's been getting stronger and stronger, guys. So, so far, we had support around this level, then we had support around this level. So for now, guys, I'm just saying the support is getting stronger and stronger, and this is truly where it is for Dogecoin, guys. Because if you think about it, every single time before we got close to this line, look what happened. We got close to this line, we dropped all the way back down to here. We got close to this line, look, boom, we dropped. 
Look at what happened right here, guys. We got close to this line. Okay, boom, we dropped all the way. Okay. But remember, what did I say, guys? Last time we printed this buy signal, okay? Double double deviation, okay? And then if we look back here, double double deviation, and then we blow up, guys. So so far, okay. This is what I'm saying, okay? These key levels are gonna be very, very important, guys. These are gonna be key key levels um as to where we kind of explode to. And I do think, okay, that if Dogecoin on the daily chart, okay can close okay above this level okay so for example if dogecoin literally within the next 48 hours if these closes start to get like this at least okay the upside for doge is massive guys and that isn't an exaggeration okay you know when people are saying dogecoin to the moon this is truly it but on the flip side if dogecoin does something like this okay if we get rejected here that candle down is going to be truly truly bad guys like that is going to be a very very um i don't want to say a terrible capitulation candle but it probably will take us at least all the way to here guys so it's probably just 20 cents now um i'm not ruling out anything i'm not a bear i'm just saying that if something bad is going to happen or if there's going to be a negative price reaction we have to be at least okay um you know what are the scenarios that we're looking at okay we've got 77 percent chance to go to the upside 30 percent chance to go to the downside if we're going to the downside the candles would have to be here um and then dogecoin is most likely going to drop to this level so we always want to know if it drops how it drops and why it drops guys we don't just want to be you know looking at the charts um and not knowing how certain things go or why they go the way they go guys so that is what um I'm, I'm telling you guys so for now it looks like there's going to be massive upside because um we're actually not showing um any sort of insane rejections um you know th this rejection here was very very strong so far this this wedge actually managed to break up we also got the buy signal here bitcoin also reached a new all-time high so i would say for dogecoin okay on the fact that we're here if we get one more candle here guys that is going to be very very interesting guys so as long as the four hourly candles okay it's literally literally happening right now as long as the hourly candles can stay above this line um i would say that you know the upside is massive and if we do drop down i would say that we're going to go to 22 cents in which i will be buying that dip guys that's just me personally so for now um is dogecoin about to explode possibly guys it's very possible the setup is there guys um and even if we don't explode here as, you know when we come to this point that explosion is going to be 100 massive so i would say for those of you guys um you know watching and chatting and stuff like that you know these next i would say these next um i don't even know how much how, how long this is let me go ahead um and look at how long this is i don't know why 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 it does that guys okay let me just not do that let me see if i can get the time frame in i don't know why just so weird um the next 34 days so the next month for doge gonna be huge guys okay we're either gonna have an accumulation phase or a huge explosion phase guys either way I do feel like it's going to be super, super interesting. I do feel like um, Dogecoin is going to have, you know, one of the most explosive, um, one of the most explosive things because people would just kind of underestimate this coin. And as you guys can see, the Fibonacci levels um, project us with, you know, the 2.681 Fib. Um, after this takes us to 69 cents exactly, um, 50 cents, 38 cents. So yeah, the upside here is going to be massive. But even if we get rejected here, which is a possibility, guys, I'm saying that that dip is going to be bought. Um, it's definitely going to be very interesting, guys, um, because I know exactly where the price is going to go after that. Um, and I'll be able to tell you. So if, if we get a capitulation candle like that, most likely we're probably going to be, you know, repeat this scenario, which I wouldn't hope to do. But at the end of the day, we've got to be prepared for everything. So for now, what I'm doing is I'm watching to see if Dogecoin can close these candles outside, okay? If it can close the candle successfully outside, then that's going to get bullish. But if we have a candle right here, guys, then I would say that that is going to be the price target. I would say I'm probably going to set a buy order for 22 cents um, so I can actually get that nice bounce. Um, and even if we do bounce down below here, as you guys can see, if I actually increase your opacity on this, this is why I love multiple lines because they come in and out of play. Um, you guys can see that this is exactly where Dogecoin will bounce at, guys. This is exactly where 22 cents is exactly where Dogecoin is going to bounce at. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Um, I'm probably going to go submit that trade right now because I realized that, um, you know, a buy order at 2207. 22 or just yeah i'll probably just do that 20 not not exactly 22 because 22 there's a, there's a lot you can do at 22 i'll probably do at 22 22 221 i'll probably do that dash myself on binance that's what i'll probably do so that if you know just in case okay i'm not gonna lose any money if it wicks down okay i'm just gonna get a quick buy and then i'm probably gonna be back in profit as it comes back to test the sign so um guys if you have enjoyed today's video let me know what you think about dogecoin okay hopefully we can get this bounce okay i'm just covering the bearish scenarios just in case but i can't lie guys after bitcoin pulled pulled it's insane move like if you've been watching bitcoin okay you know I've, I've said that you know we need to watch both sides of the coin so far bitcoin is insanely bullish right now okay i would say that with bitcoin okay right now what we have this is pretty crazy okay dogecoin literally could be poised for an explosion um and everyone better be ready so with that being said i'm gonna see you guys in the next video